Good day. And welcome back to Class Time, your daily classroom for CSEC students. Watch this lesson in real time on Television Jamaica's YouTube channel or One Spot Media. Today's mathematics lesson, we will be focusing on transformation geometry, specifically reflection. I am Wadian Price. And I am Brittany Henderson. Let's get started. All righty. Yeah. So, we're looking at reflection today. Exciting. So, the focus of today's lesson, we're going to be determining and representing the location of the image of an object under reflection in a line in that plane. Yeah. We're also going to be determining a two by two matrix associated with the reflection. So whether it's reflecting in the x axis, y axis, the line y equals x, and the line y equals negative x. All right, recap time. Excited? Ah. So in yesterday's lesson, they would have mm -hmm. looked at some transformation. Right. What's transformation? All right, so let us see what transformation is. So although this was done yesterday, right, just recapping, transformation in a plane is a mapping for which each point has exactly one image point, and each image point has exactly one object or pre-image point. Right? Mm -hmm. So this would have been elaborated yesterday. So only one object point, one pre-image um, point. Right? So let us see how that works out. All right. All right. So we're talking about object and image. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so the first thing we see here is we see our object, which is our, mm -hmm. our pre-image, and then we see our image. Mm -hmm. Now, yesterday's lesson they would have looked at... Um, Translation, Translation, right? Yeah. Or the slide. And yeah. they did a little slide yesterday, right? They so did. they were looking they at did. the slide. So as you notice here, our object or our pre-image did mm -hmm. a little slide. And we noticed that there's a change in the points mm -hmm. that make up the object. So A, B, C, D, they all slid mm -hmm. across the mirror line, right? right? And I'm seeing where the, the, the shape of the object does not change. No. So the size remains the same, mm -hmm. right? And there, there was no turn in any at all. Wait, no, there wasn't. So there was no turn. So there right. was no turn. So it was just a slide. Yes. Right. I'm seeing um, a difference in terms of the labeling as well. Oh, yes, I'm seeing that as well. So mm -hmm. I'm seeing where the object, we had A, B, C, D. Mm -hmm. And for our image, we had A prime, B prime, C prime, yeah. and D prime. So that just simply meant that the location changed for these particular yeah. points, Definitely. right? So Definitely. that's what's happening here. So it's mm -hmm. showing that the location for the points changed. All right. So, you know, there's a little write-up about the image. So the image is the new figure, yeah. and the object is my original figure. So I know sometimes you kind of get a little bit confused because mm -hmm. you hear pre-image, pre, pre, what, pre what mean, I mean. What the previous pre means. Before, Before. though? Yeah. yeah, all right. Yeah. So we're good. We should be good with should that. Should be good. All right. So now we're going to look at what we mean by reflection, and specifically reflection mm -hmm. in the environment. Yeah. All right. So what is this, Mr. Price? That's you? No, Get it ready in the morning? Definitely. It couldn't be. If, if, if that was me, it couldn't be a true reflection. True. Right? I'm dark skin. True. I'm black. True. And so is light skin. Light true. skin. True. true. Right? True. So what, whatever you are, when you look in the mirror, that is what you're going to see. You're dark skin. You look in the mirror in the morning, you're going to be dark skin. Okay. Right? So, so, so the, the, the mirror won't bleach you. <laughs> So this is a true reflection, or this is something that we experience every day. We get up and we get ready for work or mm -hmm. school, and we're looking in the mirror to get ready. We're looking at our image, right? We're looking yeah, at ourselves. Definitely. Okay. Oh, mm, nice. Well, I want to live there. Yeah. So this is another example of reflection in our mm -hmm. environment. So here we see what? This looks like a castle yeah, on a hill. So. Yes. So this is the castle, and down here we see the water, the ocean, mm. or something of that nature, right? Yeah. And as we notice, there is a reflection. So we notice that we have the castle, and then in the water, when we mm. look down, we see a reflection of the castle. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. and, and again, similarly, we're, we're seeing where the shape of the castle does not change. No. Right? The size remains the same, mm -hmm. right? Um, I'm, I'm seeing a line here right across that separates the, the, the actual castle from its reflection. 
And I think that that line is called my reflection line or my mirror, yeah. my re mirror line, right? Definitely. Right. And the image as well, what mm -hmm. about the distance? If, we look, if we're doing it in, in, in relation to this line, mm -hmm. we notice that the, look, I'm guessing that the distance, you know, between my object and my image are probably going to be the probably same. Probably the same. Yeah. Right. The only difference is like the orientation, clearly. Yeah. Yeah, the orientation changes. Yes. Right? Because when you look at it, the highest point of, of, at the, of the castle, from the highest point to the line of reflection, mm -hmm. Right, and look at from the line of reflection to the highest point down there in the reflection, uh, would be the same. Yes, yes. Yeah. So those are some interesting things. Mm -hmm. I bet you don't really sit down and look at this. Yeah. You know, okay. Oh, yeah, nice the car. It's your car. Uh, mm, yeah, man. I like. A, I make a fast, fast car. So maybe this is a showroom, right? Yeah. So in the showroom we have our car, mm -hmm. and you know the the, the room, the showroom, the floors are yeah, normally, normally very, very glistening, sh shining. Yeah. So my car is reflecting in the showroom mm -hmm. floor, right? And so here you see the reflection of a car. Mm -hmm. So this is just another example of how you may see reflection in your environment. Yeah, definitely. All right. Let's see if we have another. Ah. Oh, this one. What is that? You, have you ever been to the circus? No. Okay. Well, sometimes we go to the circus. They have this mirror room, a room full of mirrors. And sometimes when you go in there, you see yourself in all different orientations yeah. and reflected all over the yeah. place. So it could be, you know, that she's there, but mm -hmm. mom looks like she's modeling. So maybe she's just modeling in a room full, filled with mirrors. Yeah, see that right? way. But again, if we, if we focus on the line of reflection, just the line of reflection seems to be right here. Yes. Right? If we look at the heel, for example, you see the heel facing each They're other. facing each other, yes. Yeah. So, so that means the distance from one heel to the, to the mirror, mirror line, line is the same. Is the same, right? In, in pre-image as well as the, the image. Yes. Yeah. And also you notice that the, um, nothing changes in terms of size and so forth. Yeah, definitely. All right. Oh, oh, what a beautiful sight. Beautiful. This is awesome. Now, this may be a day on the beach, yeah. right? And you're looking up and you see the heavens being reflected in the water. <laughs> <laughs> so this is also something that we see all the time mm. and we don't necessarily pay attention yeah. to it. Very beautiful. Very beautiful. So you see yeah. the sky being reflected in the water. And again, we can also identify our mirror line. Mm -hmm. We can identify that the distance again between... Um, the highest point and the lowest point mm -hmm. from the mirror line is always the, always same. the same. So, you know, we don't want you to think about math and again, think yeah. about it in isolation. Math is all around all you. Around it's so us. beautiful. Yeah. Right. So, a reflection. Mm. A reflection is simply a transformation that flips a picture across a line. Yeah. And we saw several examples of that. If we even look on the screen right mm -hmm. now, we can notice that a reflection is flipped over a line. You notice that my, the yeah, words I'm are seeing, flipped? I'm seeing the reflection. Yeah, man, we're mm -hmm. flipping it. So you see the reflection. Yeah. Now let's take a little look at mm -hmm. what happens with my arrow here. Oh, that's the flip. Yeah, man, you saw that? Yeah. It, it, yeah. it moves slowly, but it flips, <laughs> it right? <flipped. laughs> so we can identify our pre-image and our image. Mm -hmm. All right. So again, this line here is known as my mirror line. My mirror line, and again, we have mm -hmm. our object and our our object and our <laughs> image. <laughs> All right. So after shape is reflected, it looks like. A mirror of itself, mm -hmm. which we've, we, we've been yeah. seeing all Sign, along. Size and, and shape remains um, the same, only Everything orientation changes. Yeah, man. So it, clearly the first picture was just not you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. So the, the line that, that the shape is flipped over, as we have said before, is called the line of reflection or the, the mirror line. Mm -hmm. And we are seeing um, this image here. We are seeing the line of reflection, right? Again, size does not change. Only orientation changes. Yes. All right, so we are, we are noticing as well. All right, if we, if we could just go forward. All right. Right, so, so, so we, we are seeing the distance. And, and we, are, we are emphasizing these points because it is going to come up in the activities that we are going to be doing, 
right, that the distance from any particular point. So if we are focusing on this point right here to the mirror line, right, and that same point on the other, uh, on the, from the, the, the pre-image to that line, to the line of reflection, and the image to the line of reflection, that distance must be the same for it to be considered to be a true reflection. Okay, which is true. So those are some key points that we want mm -hmm. to emphasize again and hope you guys are taking notes yeah. at home. So here we have it nice and dandy mm -hmm. though. Yeah. So this is our little, you know, little put together. You guys can <coughs> screenshot this, take a picture. Mm -hmm. So image. And pre-image. And, and pre-image are, are congruent. Congruent. Whoa, that ah, word though. Congruent. congruent. What do we mean by congruent? Right. And, and that's what we have been saying over and over. The size They're and the the shape same. remain the same. So they are equal in every aspect. Yes. Another point is that corresponding points and their image are equidistant from the mirror line. Yeah. And Mr. Price belabored <laughs> that point a while ago. If on this diagram we're looking at points, if we're looking at A and A mm -hmm. prime, we can see that A is equidistant from the mirror line mm -hmm. as A prime. Right. And, and we can see it clearly here, here because you can actually count the number of units. So from A to the, to the mirror line would just be two units. Yes. Right? And from A prime to the mirror line, two it's, units as well. Exactly. So it, so it is clearly represented here. Um, another key point is that the orientation of the shape, the orientations of the shape mm. changes. Yeah. Right? So the orientation will change. Mm -hmm. Because, of course, you are reflecting something. If I'm looking into the mirror, I can't look mm -hmm. into the mirror and see myself like, oh, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm going to yeah. flip around in order for me to be able to see my features. Yeah, definitely. So another and the very last point here is the line that connects the image to the pre-image is perpendicular mm. to the line of reflection. Yeah. Now this is yeah. essential. Very, very central. All right. All right. So so what we are seeing now is perpendicular a perpendicular line. So a vertical line meeting a horizontal line. Mm -hmm. What angle is gonna be formed there? Hmm, I think it's a right angle. A right angle. Yes, ma'am. Right? So th these points are very crucial. Very crucial. So all right. Mm. So a while ago, we brought up the Cartesian plane, but we didn't really mm. talk a lot about the Cartesian yeah. plane. Now we're going to delve a little deeper into the Cartesian plane. Now you guys are supposed to be very familiar with this. All right. So here we have the beautiful Cartesian mm. plane. Yeah. Right. And we have our vertical axis, mm. which is known as our y, y axis, axis, and our horizontal axis, which is known as our x, x axis. axis. All right. So now we want to name that line. Yeah. It says name the line, but I'm going to call this one <laughs> name that, that line. line. And right. we're talking about the, that red line now. Yeah, so yeah. you're going to name that line for me. Mm -hmm. So here on our Cartesian plane, we have this red line. Mm -hmm. And I want for you to tell me the name of this line. All right. Drum roll. Dum dum dum. Okay. Right, no. <laughs> so, so give me some hints. Give some me some hints. hints first. All right. So here we know that our. Um, red line goes through the point. It goes through mm -hmm. one point. It goes through, well, it goes through several points. But it's, it's vertical, one. Mm -hmm. And it cuts, I see where it's going to be cutting my x-axis. So that yeah. is something that I think you should take mm -hmm. note of. It cuts mm -hmm. my x-axis, mm -hmm. right? And, and it cuts my x-axis at a particular point. Yeah. It cuts my x-axis at five, five. Yeah. right? So those are some essential things mm -hmm. to note. So guess right. that line. Guess that line. Alrighty. All right. So some key points. Go. So if it's a vertical line, then it will be some x equal. Mm -hmm. All right. So I am seeing that this red line is a vertical line. So if I'm going to name that line, it must be x equal to mm -hmm. something. All right. So what if it is horizontal? If it is horizontal, then it is y, y. equal to some value. All right. So with that in mind, I am seeing that I have a vertical line. So that means it's x equal to a value. Where does this um, red line cuts my x-axis? At, at five. Five. So I guess the name of the line would be x equal five. Uh, that, you got too many clues. But yeah, you're <laughs> correct. So All this right. line, oh, whoops, that was so yeah, quick. Very quick. So that line was actually <laughs> x, x equals equal five. five. Yeah. All right, let's go again. Guess that line. Um, all right, so it seems as if it cuts it at negative one cuts the x-axis at negative one so it will be x equals negative one 
And again, you're correct. And we also need to point out that it's a vertical line again. Uh, so it's x equal negative mm -hmm. 1. So it means that anywhere up on this line, the x value will be negative 1. So if I want to find, find a point negative 1 to 5, it will fall on this red line. line. Yes. If it is negative 1 to 7 on the same line. So on anywhere on this red line, the x value will be negative 1. Yes. Guess that line. Now you notice yeah. something changes. So instead of having a vertical line, we have a mm -hmm. horizontal line. Yeah. And we know that with this, the horizontal lines are always y, y equal, equal something. Mm -hmm. All right. So where does this line cut my y axis? Mm. So it cuts it at 6. So we, we know so this, right? It must be y, y equals, equals 6. six. Nice. All right. Guess that line. Mm. So our horizontal line again. Yeah, man. Cuts my y axis at 1. So, what so is it? y equals 1. Sir, these are too easy for yeah. you now. All right. Let's see. Do we have one more? Yes, man. Mm. Ooh, this one is special yeah. now, guys. So, guess that line. Yeah. What are we seeing here? Mm. I'm seeing a diagonal line. Yes. Um, hmm. Is there anything about where it cuts? Where, where, where does it cut the... The where does it cut the axis? I'm seeing where it, it dissect the, the origin. Ah. Right? Um what, what I'm seeing as well is that if I should look at the point one, if I should find the coordinate for let's say the point right there, mm -hmm. I'm seeing that it is what it will be one on the x, one on the y. Mm -hmm. So when, when x is one, y is one. If mm. I should look at another point, let's say four, um from four on the x meeting that, that, that diagonal line coming to my y-axis. It's still 4. It's still 4. So when x is 4, y is 4. When x is 1, y is 1. When x is 5, y is 5. You're onto something there. That sounds like the line what? Y, y equals, equals x. x. Yeah. Look at that, yeah. guys. Just by observation. You know, mm. sometimes we're scratching our head. Oh, my God, how are we going to remember yeah. that? Look at that. Yeah. You notice how we came up with mm. it? Just by observation. Just by observation. All right. So that line is y equals, equals x. x. All righty. Guess that line and we have yeah. one more line. So, so it's a diagonal line again? It's a diagonal line but and it cuts. Opposite direction. Yes. Ah. And it dissects the um, origin okay. again. So right. What if we can do the same observation that we did? Of course we could. All right. So when X is negative one. Y is one. Y is one. When X is negative two. Y is, y is two. two. So, what so, do we notice about our x values? Our x values this time around are negative. negative. So but my y values are positive. positive. So, this line is y equals negative x. Negative x. So, this yeah. one is y is equal to negative x. If mm. ever you are not sure, just do a yeah, little observation and see what you come up with. Mm. All right. So, here it is <clears throat> that we have an image and or, or pre-image and our image mm -hmm. and we're asked now to draw the mirror line that describes the reflection yeah so it means now we have to apply some of those properties mm -hmm. that we looked at before equidistance, equidistance. oh lord all right. Mm -hmm. all right so let us if we should identify two points to say b and b prime yes all I right think those are easier all right so if you count the number of of, of units from b to b prime mm -hmm. how many units we would get one two three four five six seven eight and i want equidistance yeah. sir i thought you were going to come with something hard <laughs> it's, so, it's math how can it be hard well true 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 yeah. true so if it's eight units and we want it to be equidistant mm. so i just need to find the midpoint exactly right exactly. and that would be somewhere at four, four. units right right right, right. So all you guys can do is just simply count your units mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. you can come up with your mirror line. Right. In this case, my mirror line would be right at x equals 1. one. Yeah. Right? So that was that's it. 1, 2. Yeah. Finish. And although we, we chose B, we could choose any, any other point and it should be, it must be the same. It has to it be. It's a true reflection. Yeah, man. Because equidistance, that's a property of reflection. Exactly. All right. Ooh. Right, so that's the line. Reflection in the line. X y, equals, X equals one. one. All right. So mm. here we have one, and we want for you to try this one at home. So go ahead and 
count your units and mm. determine the mirror line. We're going to take a quick break and we'll be back with more mathematics. Okay, welcome back to class time. We are looking at transformation geometry. And we were on this particular problem. All right, so here we are asked to draw the line, the mirror line, and describe the reflection. Mm -hmm. All right? So here, all we need to do is to select um, any two point, uh, an image and a pre-image, mm -hmm. and then um, see the, the distance between those two points, and then that will give us an idea of where that line should be drawn. So. Okay. Where do you think the line of reflection will be? All right. So if I'm looking at point, all right, I was going to say point B and <laughs> B prime, but let's go to C and C prime. Always going to be uh. the same. So if I'm looking at C and C prime, I'll realize that the distance from C to C prime is two units. Yeah. Right. And so if I should find the center point between the two units, mm -hmm. um, that would fall somewhere at Y equals two. Yeah, definitely. So my mirror line would be y equals 2. Each one of these points mm. would be one unit from the mirror, from the line. mirror line. Right? right? So there we go. 
and this line, oh, no? Yeah, oh, yeah. yes. And so the reflection <laughs> is in the line Y, y equals, equals two. two. And if we yeah. notice, B and B prime, C and C mm -hmm. prime are both two units away from yeah, each other. Definitely. So it's E. So let's look at another one. Okay. Mm. My triangles are kind of turned upside down. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Wonder if it will still work. Can I still, still count? Work. Well, okay. it's a flip, right? It's a flip. True. Right. True. So um, is our triangle labeled? No. Mm. All right. So we're just going to select a point. Yeah. So um, let's get fun this time. Let's select my point here. So mm. let's select the, the I can't see what yeah, I don't I think it's labeled, you know. It is? Yeah. Okay, so let's select point D <laughs> and D prime. All right, so let's look at D and D prime. And let's look at the distance from mm -hmm. D to D prime. So let me see now, that it looks something like four units? Four, one, two, three, four. Yes, yeah. so they're four units apart from each other. Mm -hmm. So again, I need to find my midway point. Yeah. So I need to find a midpoint that would make um, D prime two units away from the mirror line and mm -hmm. D also two units away yeah. from the mirror line. So let's see now, I think that will form Y equals three. Yeah, it seems that way. Right, so that mm -hmm. looks like Y, the line Y, y equals, equals three. three. So there's where my mirror line will fall. Mm -hmm. You think they're getting it here? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, man. I think so. I think oh so. Lord, Whoa. look at this one now. Hmm. Yeah. This looks interesting. Yeah. So again, uh, we're, draw, draw, we're asked now to draw in our mirror line yeah. that describes the reflection. Hmm. Yeah. Now, if, if we should look at P and P prime, mm -hmm. right? For, for, for us to find that, that center, yes. that center line right there, mm -hmm. then it must dissect this unit square yes. right in the, in, the, in the vertex there. Yes, it has to, for All it right? to be equidistant. For it to be equidistant. So I'm seeing that my line is going to be heading... Straight through my origin. Straight through your origin. So I'm not seeing a horizontal line. I'm mm -mm. not seeing a vertical line. No, I'm seeing something Y equals something, right? Yeah. And in this case, um, let's look at it. It would be Y is equal to negative, negative X. X. Yeah. Right. And we can also, we can, you know, another interesting thing to do mm -hmm. is look, we could also look at the points themselves, the coordinates of each point. Exactly. exactly. So we could also look at the mm -hmm. coordinates of each point. So this is the line. Yeah. Y, y is equal, equal to negative, negative x. x. All right. Yeah. And, and as you, you made mention of looking at the coordinates, and yes. we're going to be delving more into using the coordinates, the coordinates themselves to, to determine if it's a reflection in the line y equal x, y equal negative x, x axis, y axis. So we are getting there. Yeah, man, because we, as you would have pointed <coughs> out earlier, you would have seen a trend. When we were looking at the lines, there was a trend mm -hmm. in the um, coordinates. Yeah. All right. Ooh, Whoa. this is nice. So here it is that we have um, it's two triangles. It mm. may look like one, but it's two. Yeah, it's right? two. <laughs> and we want to find the line of reflection mm. that describes this reflection. Yeah. All right, guys. Yeah. You ready? Me ready? Mm -hmm. You want to it guess? It, it ha what line would this be? Well, if we should use the same um, properties we were looking at before in terms of the distance mm -hmm. from the mirror line, if we should select L, um, one, two, th two, from L prime, one, two, mm -hmm. right? So I'm seeing that my, my line of reflection seems to be my Y axis. Okay. And, okay, so it's my Y axis. Yeah. So look at that. Yeah, so it's reflection on the Y axis. Yeah, man. But there's another key point right there. When you reflect in the Y axis... Um, it's the same as saying light, the line equals <laughs> x equals zero, equal zero, right? Because you notice that, um, yes, mm. as you can see, you'll notice that yeah. that's the line x, x is equal to zero. zero. Because it cuts the, the x axis. At zero. At zero. Mm -hmm. So that's also an interesting yeah. point to point out. Mm -hmm. Note. And you then remember? no, we, we, we can see persons um, expecting what is going to come after. No, if it is reflection in the y axis mm -hmm. and it is X, x equals equal zero. What happened when it is reflection in the x axis? What the will opposite. that be? It's just it's going to be y equals zero. Exactly. Right. So all is going to change is the line. It's yeah. you know. All right. Here mm. we go. Here's another one. Yeah. Exciting. So draw the mirror line and describe this reflection. Mm. So we can look at. All right. 
I will always like it easy. Me look from P um R and R prime. Okay. My account is that look like four units, yeah, yeah, right? That's true. You know you preempted mm -hmm. this one. <laughs> because let's see, guys. R and R prime. It's four units, mm -hmm. and we want to find the midpoint. Yeah. It's going to fall where? Right on my x-axis. Right on my x-axis. So this is also going to be known mm -hmm. as the line. Mm. Y is equal to zero. Yeah. So it's my yeah. x-axis or the line y, y equals, equals zero. zero. Mr. Price knew this one was coming, yeah. right? I think so. Yeah, I think so too. So mm. now we're getting into some fun things. Mm. We're going to be determining a two-by-two two matrix associated with reflection. Yeah. How matrix reach into reflection, sir? <laughs> I was going on good until you said the word ma until I said the word matrix. Uh, not, nothing difficult. All right. So we want to start off by looking at some identity properties. Mm -hmm. All right. So what happens when you add zero to any number? Number remains the same. So you mean that three plus zero is three? Yeah. Really? A hundred plus zero? A hundred. Really? Yeah. That's so yeah. true. So, so <laughs> any number <laughs> that you add zero to is still that yeah. number. So that's the identity property on addition. Yes, man. So what happens when you multiply any number by one? Mm. So let me see now. Five times one. Five. Uh, 5,000 times 1. 5,000. What? Yeah. Any number multiplied by 1 gives you back that number. Yeah. So again, that's the identity, identity property, property on multiplication. multiplication. Okay. And this is very interesting. It's very important mm -hmm. that we note these things. Because if we want to see a movement, we need mm -hmm. to add a quantity greater than 0. Yeah. And if we want to see a movement, we need mm -hmm. to multiply a quantity greater than 0. One by whatever we're exactly. number that we're looking at. And guys, you'll see why this is important. Mm -hmm. Now, what happens when I have any point and mm -hmm. I need it to and I multiply it by the identity matrix? Mm -hmm. So now it is that we talked yeah. about movement or you know something happening, we're changing. So yeah. we're at five units mm -hmm. and we want to get to eight units. Mm -hmm. We need to add three more units to that to move from five to eight, yeah. right? Yeah. Some kind of movement happening. Now, we're multiplying by an identity mm -hmm. matrix, and we're multiplying a point in my Cartesian mm -hmm. plane. And my what? identity matrix is 1001. Zero, zero, one. One. Mm -hmm. Right. What happens? Matrix uh -huh. multiplication. Da 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 da. Magic. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Joke. We multiply what? Row by column. Row by right? column. All right. So we are seeing here, multiply the identity ma matrix 1001 zero, zero, one by the point AB, mm -hmm. and our solution is just AB. So oh. what can we Oh, what so, can we say? So you're telling me that when I multiply any point by mm -hmm. a matrix, um, the identity matrix to be mm -hmm. specific, no movement happens. So no that point happen. remains the same. Remains the same. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. So it doesn't matter what, whether we're looking mm -hmm. at points or we're looking at individual numbers. Exactly. Properties, you know, they, they translate. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So here it is now, we're looking at reflection. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah. And we're looking at what is happening in terms of our matrix. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> if it is that we are reflecting at some point about the x-axis, what the matrix would look like, yeah. right? All right, so, so looking at it, remember the identity matrix was one, zero, zero, one. Mm -hmm. Now we are seeing some variations. So reflection in about the x-axis, we are seeing that um, the, the, the one, one of the ones there becomes a negative. a negative. That's hmm. in the second column. Mm -hmm. All right. So we're going to see what really happened. So we, we have an example coming up to see how we, we really reach, reach here. All right. So let's go there. So what happens when any point is multiplied by the matrix 1001? One, zero, 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 one. Yeah. Oh, gosh. The <laughs> answer is already there. But let us talk about it. So here it is that we have our matrix and we're multiplying it by a point AB. Mm -hmm. We notice that in the results, what happens to my Y coordinates? Mm -hmm. I'm seeing where the sign changes. The sign changes. Mm -hmm. So when I reflect about the X axis, and we're going to take you to the mm -hmm. um, we're going to take you to the Cartesian plane to actually look at what what is happening there. Um, you see that my Y coordinate becomes negative. Negative. All right. Mm -hmm. So so when you when you reflect in the X axis, mm -hmm. my, the, my Y coordinate will change mm -hmm. in terms of 
if it was negative before, it now becomes positive. If it was positive, it's going to become negative. Yes. All right? Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. So, here we have a reflection. So, reflection in a line. And mm -hmm. we have a point, P. Point P is located 3, 2. Mm -hmm. So, the X coordinate is 3 and the Y coordinate is 2. two. So, we say that. 3, 2. two. <laughs> All right. So, we're reflecting in what now? In the... In the x-axis, mm -hmm. now based on the properties, or one of the properties we looked at, the, that reflection point must be of the same distance from, from the mirror line yes. as in the, the pre-image. Yes. So if the, if the reflection line is the x-axis, mm -hmm. so if we count the units, one, two. two. So it means that my image must be two units away from, away from the reflection line. So yes. one, two. So it looks like my image would be at 3, negative, negative two. 2. All right. So let us see what really happened. What changes? All that, well, based on what we did a while ago, all that changed was my X, sorry, my Y coordinate. Yeah. So my Y coordinate went from 2 to negative, negative two. 2. Hmm. Mm -hmm. And you're saying <clears throat> that when I do it with the matrix, is the same thing going to it's happen? the same thing. Remember, that's what we, we did before. Yes. But no, no. This is real points, though. Real points. Yeah, man, yeah, man. So now I have some actual values. Yeah. You know, when you talk yeah. about these variables, sometimes they confuse me. All right. So, all right. So we've identified it. Okay. Mm. And oh. we're reflecting, as all we right. said before. All right. So we are now reflecting oh. in the y-axis. So now we're in the y-axis. And again, we could have mm. counted. And P is actually three units from the y-axis. Mm -hmm. And so P prime would also be three units. Now, if we look at the point here, mm -hmm. we'll notice that our coordinates, let's look at our coordinates. So this point is actually going to be, um, so it's, what's this? Three. Negative three. Negative three. Two. 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 Yes. Yeah. So it's negative three negative to three two. Negative three to two. So what changes again? Negative three. So in this case, my x value changes. Mm, right. hmm. So the sign of the, of the x value changes um, right there. Yes. So if we should link this back to the matrix. So you want to, you want to do a little example of the little multiplication to see exactly how it is that this would happen? Yeah. All right. All right. So that's it. Yeah. So we see that the x value, the sign for the x value changes when you reflect in the in the y-axis, yes, right? And again, we are emphasizing that the y-axis is the same as x equal, the line x equals zero. Yes, yes, it is. And again, guys, we're <coughs> doing this. We're showing you using the Cartesian plane, but we're emphasizing that this can be done using matrix multiplication. Yes. And you would have seen the matrix before. We're going to go back there shortly, mm -hmm. but we're just trying to tie in the points, right? All right? We don't want to lose you. So here it is that we have point P, and point P is located again, 3, 2. Mm. And we're reflecting it. What's line, what line is this one? Mm. This is the y equals x. Yes, man. So this is the line y equals x. Mm. So we want to see what would happen to our points again. Yeah. So we're reflecting, and yeah. it would dissect the right. unit square. And we can still see the distance yes, from the line y equal x. Yes, yes, right. we can. It's half, mm. un half well. unit. So, no, <laughs> what happens? Mm. Looks like my y becomes x and my x becomes yeah. y. Yeah, so mm. the values switch. They do. Switch. Right, and this is consistent. As long as you're reflecting in the line y equal x, mm -hmm then the values are going to switch. Mm -hmm. X becomes Y, Y becomes X. Yes, because they're equal, don't they? Yeah, 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 yeah. The values switch around. Yes. And again, yeah. we know this one. This one is what? The line Y, y is equal, equal negative, negative X. X. And let's see, P prime. Mm. P prime is... Negative yeah. 2, negative 3. Right, so so now, not only did my X and Y value change, mm -hmm. but they're also, it went from positive to, to negative. negative. So the sign changes. So the sign also right. changes. So there's a switch in terms of the values and also as well as change in terms of the signs. Yes. All, All right. right. 
So and that's a summary. This is a summary of all that we did. All that we did. And you can see, as you can see, all of the, the, the various changes mm -hmm. that we would have mentioned from before. Yeah. And if it is that you just want to, you know, snap just, a picture, snap mm -hmm. a pic. Um, but again, let's look at it in our plane and let's answer a few questions. So what happens to a point in a reflection? So name the points of the original triangle. Mm -hmm. How are we going to know which one is original and which one uh. is the copy? <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, so the original does not have the prime. Yes. Right. Yes. So whenever you see the prime on it, it means that that is a... Object or my pre-image. And yeah. when I see the prime, we know mm -hmm. that that is my image, image that has been reflected. Exactly. So if we want to look at really quickly, point A. So point A would be what? Two, negative three. Mm -hmm. um, point B, if I'm looking carefully, it would be five, negative, negative four, four. And point C would be two, negative four. Mm. Let's see. Uh, ooh, I, right. I like getting things That's right. Good. That's good. And, and you see, this may sound <clears throat> really simple, mm -hmm. but there are, there are questions on the, on the CSEC paper when you're doing the, the exam that they just ask you to Identify name a point. point. Yes. Right? And, and in, in a number of cases, they start out by that. What is the coordinate for this point? So while it may look simple, you want to start with getting even those little one points because everything adds up. Every mickle 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 don't. Name the points of the reflected triangle. And mm -hmm. again, let's go yeah. again real quickly. So A is mm. 2, 3. Yeah. A prime, sorry, 2, mm -hmm. 3. B prime, 5, 4. And C prime, 2, 4. Yeah. Now, just by observation, yeah. we are not yeah. even going to count. If just looking at our coordinates, mm. could we identify the line of reflection? Mm. Definitely. Because we're seeing if we should compare A, mm -hmm. the coordinate for A, which is 2, 3, with A prime, 2, right, two um, A, which is 2, negative 3, yes. and A prime, which is 2, 3. Yes. What I'm seeing changing is the sign for my Y value. So if the sign for my Y value changes, mm -hmm. it means that I have reflected in my X axis. Yes, that is correct. So we have done a reflection mm. in my X axis. Yes. Or the right. line y that equals, equals zero. zero. Yeah. So how did the points change from the original to the reflection? Right. And that's what, and what we you just And we just explained explain. that a while ago. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the sign of the y yeah, switches. The switches. Yeah. So, guys, some easy marks. Don't miss them. Yeah. Don't miss yeah. them. Right? And again, we are coming mm. back to our matrix. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, the reflection about the x-axis, we would use the matrix 1, 0, mm -hmm. 0, negative 1. Yeah. All right. right. And then a key point to note, matrix multiplication is not commutative. So therefore, the transformation matrix must be kept to the left. As you see, when we were multiplying yes. by the matrix, that 1, 0, 0, 1, or 1, 0, 0, negative 1, must be kept to the left whenever we are carrying out um, that procedure. Yes, that is true. All right. So we are at activity time. All right. But our time, our time is running out. We have another break. So when we return, we will continue with transformation geometry.
All right, so welcome back. And we left off right at the activity. So let's jump right in. So we've been reflecting all morning. Yeah. Let's see where we're going with it now. So in the diagram, well, in the diagram to the side of your, to the left of your screen, the line segment PQ is the image of LM after. Dum-dum-dum. What is happening here? What type of transformation is taking place? Is it a slide? Is it an no. enlargement? Is it a rotation? What have we been looking at mm. all morning? Reflection. So this is a reflection. Yeah. And specifically, let's look at the coordinates. So let's look at Q and M. What's, mm -hmm. So let's look at Q and M. Right? Right. So if it is a reflection in the... If we are saying our answer is C. Yes. Yeah, so it's a reflection, a reflection in, in the, the X-axis. In the X-axis. Yes. Right, so if we should look at the point Q and M, as you, as you were saying, mm -hmm. and count the number of units from Q to the mirror line, which is um, the x-axis, mm -hmm. and from M to the mirror line, we should be, it should be the same. It should be equidistant. Right, right. So our answer is reflection in the x-axis. All right. The point P shown in the graph below is reflected in the <laughs> x-axis. What is the coordinates of the image of P? So mm. the point P there is reflected in our x-axis. Mm -hmm. What's the coordinates of the image of P? Mm -hmm. All right, so what, based on the discussion we had before and using the, the, the matrix to, to multiply the point. Mm -hmm. Now the, the, the point at P, what is the coordinate at P there? It is what, three to? As what? Mm? What's the coordinate for, for for P? For P. Um I'm saying three negative three, is it? Alright. Alright, so let us see. Alright, so okay. there are our, our options. Is it three, two? So we are looking at the P P here is what? The object, the image or the pre image? Which one? P here is my object. Oh. All right. mm -hmm. oh, this is the coordinates. What's the coordinates of the image P? The so image. P is the image. Ah, oh, my bad. Ah. So P is my image, and I'm looking for. So my image here, and I'm looking for the coordinates of my object. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, again, if you if you continue, all we need going to do now is to count the number of units. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm counting the number of units. It must be equidistant. Mm -hmm. So it means that. Yeah. My object is going to be at war is going to be at three two. Right, so it was at three two, mm -hmm. right? Is reflected in the in the x axis. Yes. So what value do we see changing now? So what is changing is my three two my um two y. three oh my y yeah. yes yeah. look at that yeah. oh my goodness yeah. isn't that what we said earlier? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So question three. Mm -hmm. What's question three? Okay. Right. So here we have uh, uh, okay. the other question. Right. So we are seeing P prime, and P prime would suggest it is what the pre-image or the image. P prime would suggest that it's the image. The image. Yes. All right. And P would be my pre-image. Definitely. Yes. All right. So the coordinate for the pre-image for P is negative seven ten. Mm -hmm. Right. So it is the image of P. Which is reflected x y yes after reflection in the y line y equals x. equals x. So does this mean that my x becomes y and my y becomes x? Yeah. Oh my yeah. goodness. So that's easy then. That's, that's easy. Okay. That's so easy. if my x becomes y and my y becomes x, is that now going to be negative ten seven? Mm. No, it's going to be ten negative, negative seven. seven. So right. it's actually b. Right, so there we have it. The inverse. Right, so it's just the inverse. So all that happened is the, the switch of the values. So yes. we, we, the, the signs does, does not change. Mm -mm. Right, just the values switch. Only thing that switches around. Alrighty. Yeah. So now the diagram shows a triangle JKL and its image J prime K prime L prime after a transformation. Mm -hmm. So they want us to state the coordinates of 
the vertex J, state the length of the side K prime, L prime, mm -hmm. and describe fully the single transformation that maps J, K, L onto J prime, K prime, L prime. Yeah. And here we have that build up again that we were talking about. So mm -hmm. all they asked in part one was just to state the coordinate of J. Okay. That's a simple one point. Yes. And then now just the length of, 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 of a side, that should be simple as well. And then now you get to something a little more difficult. So all that we have done before, although it may seem simple, mm -hmm. if you don't know those things, you will be missing out on at least um, two points right here, yes. which could be the deciding factor between you passing or failing. That is certainly true. So let's get some easy marks, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So the vertex J. Our, oopsie, our <laughs> vertex J is negative one, four. Yeah. And um, the length of side KL, and if we look at KL, we'll see that KL is two units. And we can simply just count that yeah. from yeah. An, on our, on yeah. our graph. Because since it's on the grid, we can just simply count the number of units, mm. right? From K prime to L prime. Right. So they're not asking us to actually measure. No, no, I'm not a kind of ruler. You just can't count it. Right. Yeah, man. Um, and describe fully the single transformation that maps JKL onto J prime, K yeah. prime, L prime. Right. And how are we going to decide that? Hmm. Right? Just select any two points and, and see what, what happens. So one, we are seeing that the size does not change. No. So, right? So it remains, signs remain the same. Mm -hmm. We are seeing that the orientation changes. Mm -hmm. All right? So let us pick two points. Let's say K and K prime. All right? And we find the, the center point between those two points. All right? So that looks like the line Y equals X. And you are completely correct. Yeah. So that's awesome. I yeah. hope that you guys got something out of this lesson today. Um, I hope you took notes and that you are ready for reflection. And anytime you see the question on the exam, you can just go ahead and reflect. Mm. That's all for today. Class time resumes tomorrow at 9 a.m. with more CSEC mathematics. Until then, keep, keep safe. safe. Bye. Hi there, I'm Simon Preston from TVJ. Thank you very much for watching our YouTube channel. To see our latest videos and also to see live events, click here. To see our full videos on onespotmedia.com, click here. Thank you very much for watching.